Hey all, Chris from Science of Speed. So we just finished the testing on the new Science of Speed liquid injection system for the second generation NSX. I wanted to spend a little time with you today to explain how the system works, where the components are located, and how it performs. Let's go check it out. So the primary function of the Science of Speed liquid injection system is to cool the incoming charge temperature. What that allows us to do is to achieve higher performance with lower octane fuels. So for example, in this graph, we have 91 octane using the liquid injection and 93 octane without liquid injection. Now both of these pulls were done with the JB4, which is elevated performance above factory. And you can see with the 91 octane with liquid injection, we've been able to match 93 octane performance. Now it's just not ultimate performance that we're concerned about, it's also repeatability. Let me change the graphs and I'll show you what that means. So we were really surprised in some of our earlier testing with the NSX to see how quickly the performance drops off from the engine as things start to heat up. We were finding that after six to eight pulls, the performance was being reduced between 30 and 40 horsepower. It's pretty significant. Well, when you increase performance targets, that degradation increases even more so. What this graph demonstrates is a nearly 50 horsepower loss after only three repeated runs, and that's simply, again, from the engine and the intercoolers becoming overheated. Let's look at what that looks like with liquid injection being added. So the only thing that has changed in these graphs is the addition of liquid injection. So as compared to losing nearly 50 horsepower, we're staying consistent within one or two horsepower after three dyno pulls. What this means is consistent performance from the first acceleration run to the third acceleration run. So now that we've seen some of the performance advantages of the liquid injection system, let's check out the components on the car. So space is a premium on the NSX. We've worked really hard to make sure that no usable space is taken over by the liquid injection system. So that first component is this reservoir that we've custom built for the NSX to fit in this factory pocket. Now it attaches to factory locations and gives you about 1.2 gallons of liquid capacity and allows you to fill it directly from this fill cap here. So the second major component is the liquid injection pump. We've found a factory location under here to mount the pump to factory mounting locations with a custom bracket. Now the reservoir and the pump are joined with compression style fittings to prevent leaks and they join to the liquid injection plates using compression fittings, AN fittings, and AN braided hose. Let's go check out the rear of the car now. So back here in the engine bay, we have the third components. These are the liquid injection plates and injectors. These billet aluminum plates mount between the throttle body and the intake manifold and allow the liquid to be injected under high pressure. We mount these behind the throttle body to avoid damaging the sensitive electronics in the throttle bodies. Now these injectors are fed by these AN fittings and AN hoses that route down to a Y under the engine with flare fittings and tube that runs to the front of the car. All this is designed to keep things leak free. So the fourth component of the Science of Speed liquid injection system is the liquid injection controller. Now these are available in two models. One is meant to be standalone to work on a factory setup. The other is designed to work with the JB4. Now the JB4 unit creates a feedback loop so that additional performance from the JB4 is only allowed when liquid injection is verified to be flowing. Now regardless of which liquid injection controller is used, the Science of Speed liquid injection system includes two safety components. The first component is a solenoid valve that only opens when the pump is running, preventing liquid from entering the engine when it shouldn't. The second function is a boost switch. That's a fail safe to prevent the pump from running if the engine isn't under boost. We spent a lot of time designing this kit to work flawlessly on the NSX and we appreciate you checking out this video. If you have any questions, please check us out at scienceofspeed.com.